Okay guys, hello and welcome. It's Ollie again from greenteaguru.co.uk and today we're brewing Da Hong Po Oolong Tea. So before we kick off, let's briefly go into exactly what Da Hong Po is. It's a fairly heavily roasted oolong tea which comes from a very specific mountain range called Wiyu. Wiyu Mountains are located in Fujian Province, which is on the Chinese mainland area, right next to Taiwan. There are many different grades of Da Hong Po that you can try. A true Da Hong Po, a Yansha, can always be traced back to a very good region of the Wiyu Mountains. And this is what we're trying today, the good stuff. Going to be another video coming up shortly with more information on Da Hong Po, but for now let's get into brewing this magnificent tea. So to brew Da Hong Po I loosely follow uh, Gong Fu method, okay? Lots of people brew tea in a much more eloquent manner than I do, but this is just the basics for you. Very simply, put your tea into a Gai Wan, add hot water, leave for five seconds, and it's always very important to tip the first infusion. Okay, after tipping, uh, please take a moment to get the aroma of the tea. It, this tea brings out some beautiful tobacco, deep roasted flavors and aromas. It's absolutely beautiful. So the second infusion, we're leaving it for about five seconds. What you're going to do now is you're going to tip this either into your own cup or into a fair cup. Today we're tipping straight into a cha hai, which is a fair cup, and uh, your first infusion is ready to drink. Beautiful amber coloured tea, really, really nice stuff. As you can see, Gong Fu method really isn't that hard. It's a very simple process. And what we're doing here, we're avoiding bitterness levels by using 95C water. We're not using boiling water. Um, and we're getting different stages of taste through different infusions. Um, generally what happens is the first infusion is tips. The second infusion is going to be light. Um, go, moving up, the third infusion is what generally people say is the best infusion. So <clears throat> the tip top um, flavors and aromas you're gonna get from the third infusion. With this tea, you can push it out to five, sometimes seven infusions, but if you really wanna get that depth of flavor, that beautiful mineral roasted flavors, you might wanna concentrate that bit. You might wanna leave the infusions to last a little bit longer uh, to get that full flavor. So guys, please use this as a basic guide to get yourself going with brewing oolong tea. Just remember, brew five second intervals, tip the first infusion, then drink the second, third, fourth, fifth infusion, and please feel free to experiment yourself. Uh, trial and error is the only way that you learn with tea. Have fun, learn what you like, learn what you don't like, and it's we're all learning. <laughs> it is the start of it. Get involved and um, explore tea. I've been Ollie from Green Tea Guru. Thank you very much for watching. You can purchase this tea and many others from www.greenteaguru.co.uk. Cheers, guys.